Hello and welcome to your 9 p.m. daily quiz. We are meeting once again to discuss the day's important news stories in the form of questions for the prelims examination. Every single day around 9 p.m. we have this session where we take up the important news stories from the Hindu newspaper, the Indian Express, the PIB, down to earth magazines and other resources and convert them into prelim specific questions to discuss. And I'm very, very, very happy to see that many of you have made it a habit to come here every single evening and you also have to keep telling me your score in the comment section as well, apart from the homework that I give you. If you're new here, do hit the subscribe and the like button. I would highly appreciate that. And you can also check out my app on the Google Play Store. The name of the app is Harshmeet Study Circle. You'll find a lot of other important resources and courses that I am running there. Let's begin with the first question then. Consider the following statements with regards to Rashtriya Vigyan Puraskar. Number one, the Vigyan Yuva now serves as a replacement to the Bhatnagar Prize, which also recognized outstanding scientists below 45 years. Second, Vigyan Ratna is for lifetime achievement, while Vigyan Shri is for scientists for all ages. How many of these are correct? It is in the news because it was covered in the newspapers. Rashtriya Vigyan Puruskars were announced. Many so scientists were awarded in this. That is why it is in the news. It was last year that the government replaced the existing prizes that were given in the field of science or scientists. It was replaced by Rashtriya Vigyan Puruskar. And now there are proper sets of awards that are given all of them under this one umbrella called the Rashtriya Vigyan Puruskar. These include Vigyan Yuva, Vigyan Ratna and Vigyan Shri. So the answer here is C. All the three here are absolutely correct. It is a news covered in the Indian Express, Hindu newspaper, all the major newspapers have covered this news about how ex IISC head, that is Padmanabhan, who is a very well known celebrated biochemist, Chandrayaan 3, all these are the people who have been awarded the Vigyan Puruskar. Next question number two, consider the following statement with regards to BIMSTEC. First, it was formed in 1997 with the aim of promoting multifaceted technical and economic cooperation amongst the countries of Bay of Bengal region. Second, initially consisting of four member states, it was known as BISTEC, Bhutan, India, Sri Lanka, Thailand Economic Cooperation. Third, in 1997 it was renamed as BIMST EC after Myanmar joined. And fourth, admission of Nepal and Bangladesh in 2004 led to another name change to BIMSTEC, which is the current name. How many of these are correct? The question is regarding BIMSTEC, an organization that remains in the news that the government of India views very favorably as an alternative to the SARC organization. Look at these statements. First is correct, came into being in 1997. The aim was to have better cooperation amongst the countries that are surrounding the Bay of Bengal. Second is wrong. Bhutan is not the founding member. It was Bangladesh. One of the four founding members was Bangladesh. Fourth is also wrong. It was Nepal and Bhutan that joined in 2004. So second and fourth are correct. That is why the answer here is a B. Bhutan and Bangladesh, these names have been interchanged. <clears throat> the answer thus will be B. There are ongoing negotiations of a free trade agreement amongst the Bimstra countries. That is why it is in the news. Our Union Commerce Minister has said that it has been going at a very, very slow pace and we need to find better ways to conclude the free trade agreement. The last round of talks were held in 2018. So it's a long, long, long delay before this free trade agreement has been concluded. Question number three, which of the following is not true about monkeypox disease? Number one, it is a zoonosis, that is a disease that is transmitted from animals to humans. Second, children, pregnant people and people with weak immune system are at risk for complications from mpox. Third, getting an mpox vaccine can help prevent infection or fourth, none of the above. Which of these is not correct about monkeypox? The answer here is D. All the three, first, second and third are correct about monkeypox. There is a vaccine available, although vaccine has to be given. Usually if you show symptoms within the first four days, it has to be given and then it can be very, very helpful. There's an article <clears throat> in the Indian Express newspaper about how global emergency declaration may come in from WHO because Mpox has again begun spreading in Democratic Republic of Congo and in nine other African countries now. Next question number four, 
Now, <clears throat> in today's newspaper, there were not a lot of important news stories for our examination point of view. So what I've done is in the end, I've taken up two previous year questions so that you can revise that also. So question number four is a previous year question. Consider the following statements. Number one, if the election of the president of India is declared void by the Supreme Court, all acts done by him or her in the performance of the duties before the date of the decision become invalid. Second, election of the post to the president can be postponed on the ground that some legislative assemblies have been dissolved. Elections are yet to take place. Third, when a bill is presented to the president of India, the constitution prescribes time limits within which he or she has to declare his or her assent. Interesting statements. It's a question from Indian polity. How many of these are correct? Look at these one by one. First, the statement is wrong because if the election of the president is declared invalid, although it has not happened so far, whatever act was done by him, whatever orders were given by the president shall still remain valid. Second is wrong. The present election cannot be postponed on the ground that in some state legislative assembly is not working. For example, let's say some state is under president's rule. So election or legislative assembly does not exist. They have been dissolved. That is not a ground or reason for delaying the present election. Third is also wrong. There is no time limit for the president of India to give us into the bill. For example, in America, the US president has a 10 day time limit. On the 11th day, the bill is considered to be passed automatically. The answer thus is D. None of these is correct. It's, it's a, again a previous year question. One more previous year question. This time about invasive species. Invasive species specialist group that develops global invasive species database belongs to which one of the following organizations? IUCN, UNEP, United Nations World Commission for Environment and Development or WWF. Which of these are the organizations to which the invasive species specialist group database belongs? Think about it. The answer here is A, IUCN. Slightly tougher question because you do not read about this database a lot often in the news. It has been asked by the UPSC in the past. The answer here is IUCN. To end the session once again, I have an important piece of information that you can use in your mains exam. This is about the important steps that the government has been taken as a part of introducing new laws such as the Bharti Nasahita. These are steps that have been taken to improve transparency and accountability. For example, now, any search and seizure operations that are being made by the security agencies, audio visual recording will be mandatory. Victim also has a right to receive the progress report of investigation within 90 days because a lot of times victims say that we don't even know where the investigation is going. We don't even have any update on that. Now within 90 days, they can get an update. Information of arrested person will be made public in the police station as well. So there are no secret arrests that can happen. All these are new initiatives by the government of India under the new Bharatiya Nyay Sahita. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, again, do hit the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.